Summertime is a time of the flowers, and the bees love this, obviously. Look at these cute little buddies. And humans love this too. So, you know, this is lavender, of course. Um, as you forage with the season, so summer, the energy of the plant is being put into the flowers, and so that's where all the nutrients are, and so the bees are attracted to it, and so are we. Um, so lavender is one that I love putting in custards and creams and that sort of thing, cakes. Um, but there's lots of other flowers as well. And for example, like the Nootka Rose. So in the Pacific Northwest, this is one of our wild roses. You can see this little bug loves it as well. Um, but yeah, you collect the petals. One thing you want to do is leave some of the petals for the bees. This is borage, another beautiful edible flower. This grows all over Europe and North America as an edible wild weed. It's also called star flower, and it has a lovely cucumber-like scent and taste. The flowers you can freeze into little ice cube trays and put them in your Pim's cup. That's kind of traditional. Um, or you can put it in salads. You can eat the leaves. You can eat the stems. Uh, the Spanish used to saute the leaves and stems, uh, add some garlic, add some paprika, and it's just a lovely little side dish. How you identify borage is quite easy. So it's got a hairy stem. You can see it's got ovate leaves that are come to a point um, that are toothed as well. The flowers are really distinctive. See the five pointed sort of blue, bright blue color. Um, and it also has the extended column of purple black tipped um, anthers at the sort of center of the flower. It's a really distinctive flower, very hard to confuse. So it's a great one for beginning foragers.